The 3D printing technology opens new horizons for material science. As we already know, 3D print material can be created in many different ways, as there are a variety of mixed designs to suit different applications with unique requirements. Oppie's core's focus is to transition to even more eco-friendly materials which do not contain cement as a binder, because, as you may know, cement production does contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. Cement is used because it is a well-documented industry standard, but imagine if there was another material which could eliminate the need to use any cement at all. Thankfully, such a material already exists geopolymer concrete. Geopolymers are inorganic materials with a polymer structure of molecules. They possess high strength and a range of specific properties. They're called geopolymers because the raw materials used for their production are mainly minerals of geological origin. French chemist Joseph Davidovitz coined the term geopolymer in 1978. Examples of geopolymer cement used in construction can be found in Australia, Ireland, the United States, and Russia, to name a few. For instance, in 2014, an entire airport in Brisbane, Australia, was constructed with a concrete based on geopolymer binders. In the United States, special high-strength geopolymer concretes have even been used for airfield and road repair. Geopolymer concrete is chemically inert to a range of aggressive substances and remains sturdy in severe climates. In comparison to traditional Portland cement, geopolymer concrete has been shown to be stronger in tension and compression. It's more durable and resistant to abrasion. It has better freeze-thaw resistance. It's even more fire resistant and can withstand temperatures over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. It provides superior thermal insulation, which reduces household energy consumption, and it's corrosion resistant, even with aggressive substances, including some types of acids. Another advantage is that geopolymer concrete develops about 50% of its strength in the first three days, which significantly increases construction speed. They also have excellent waterproof properties, thanks to its inherent mesoporous structure, so large molecules like water can't enter into the geopolymer matrix, even if they are pushed by an external force. The list of benefits goes on and on, but the most important feature of geopolymers is that they are a much more environmentally friendly alternative to Portland cement. Geopolymer concrete can be produced by reusing and recycling waste and industrial byproducts from existing industries that could otherwise end up in a landfill, and this means there's no need to mine for additional natural resources. Geopolymer cement reduces CO2 emissions by up to 90% compared to Portland cement production, and it's much more recyclable. Oppie's core has been developing and experimenting with geopolymer 3D print material since 2018, and we've seen some pretty impressive and promising results. In addition to geopolymers, there have been recent breakthroughs in self-healing concretes and mortars, which have the ability to automatically repair themselves when cracking occurs. Some of these self-healing concretes contain tiny capsules of fibers, which break open and release binding agents when cracks begin to form or when exposed to water. Other types contain special bacteria or fungal spores, which can lie dormant for hundreds of years and activate when exposed to water after cracks begin to form. These bacteria and fungi produce the mineral calcium carbonate, which, as you remember from section 8.2, is a key component of cement. This binds the crack and forces the water back out, which triggers these bacteria and fungi to die off and release new spores, which will again lie dormant and wait for the next crack to form. In addition to geopolymers and self-healing print materials, we also plan to offer a wide array of colored materials with dyes and pigments, as well as a variety of tailored material options for increased durability and for use in more extreme environments. Before long, our printers will be extruding regolith from the moon and Mars as we begin paving the way for human colonization 
on planets far beyond our own.